Hello and welcome to Get It Right. We are back after a short break. In this episode, we will learn what are superbugs and why superbugs are a threat to global health. So stay tuned. First of all, let us talk about the misuse and abuse of antibiotics in medicine. Humans use an estimated 34.8 billion antibiotic doses each year, with global consumption increasing 65% between 2000 and 2015. In the United Kingdom, one in five antibiotics are prescribed unnecessarily. In the United States, this number rises to one in three. Meanwhile, 17% of the substandard or falsified medicines reported to the World Health Organization are antibiotics, which has further contributed to drug resistance. Now let us understand what are superbugs. Superbugs are microorganisms that develop antimicrobial resistance. As a result, medicines become ineffective and infections persist in the body, increasing the risk of spread to others. Few examples of antibiotic resistant superbugs may include resistant bacteria that can cause pneumonia, urinary tract infections and skin infections. So, how deadly are superbugs? Well, as per a study conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in 2019, superbugs were responsible for more than 35,000 deaths and nearly 3 million illnesses each year within the United States. Whereas in India, 13% mortality rate was reported due to drug-resistant bacteria such as multi-drug resistant and extremely drug resistant bacterial infections. However, Similar figure in advanced nations range between 2% to 7%. Now, let us understand how the superbugs enter the human bodies. Antibiotic resistant bacteria may reach humans indirectly along the food chain through contaminated food or food products or through direct contact with infected animals or biological substances such as blood, urine, saliva, etc. In some countries, the total amount of antibiotics used in animals is four times larger than the amount used in humans. In many countries, much of the antibiotics used in animals are for growth promotion and prevention of disease and not to treat sick animals. The cost of AMR to national economies and their health systems is significant as it affects productivity of patients or their caretakers through prolonged hospital stays and the need for more expensive and intensive care. So, what are the possible solutions to fight superbugs? First of all, there is a need for coordinated action as AMR is a complex problem that requires a united multi-sectoral approach. The stakeholders engaged in human, animal and plant health need to communicate and work together in the design and implementation of programs, policies, legislation and research to attain better public health outcomes. Second, there is a need for greater innovation and investment in operational research and in research and development of new antimicrobial medicines and vaccines. Third, global initiatives such as the Global Antibiotic Research and Development Partnership are the need of the hour. GARDP is a joint initiative of WHO and the Drugs for Neglected Diseases initiative. It encourages research and development through public-private partnerships. By 2025, the partnership aims to develop and deliver five new treatments that target drug-resistant bacteria identified by WHO as posing the greatest threat. Let us now see five examples from around the world of controlling superbugs. Ghana To inform people about the risk associated with AMR superbugs, the government commissioned their national dance company to choreograph a traditional dance about good antibiotic stewardship. India The Indian government has invested in technology campuses called incubators, which provide companies with state-of-the-art equipment and facilities. Tanzania The government of Tanzania has set up a national network of accredited drug dispensing outlets known as ADDOs. Trained drug dispensers working in more than 12,000 of these shops sell appropriate antibiotics, educate people, and reduce the incidence of drug resistant infections across the country. South Africa South Africa launched a pilot project to prevent the spread of antibiotic resistant superbugs in hospitals. The project empowered hospital pharmacists by training them in antimicrobial stewardship, 
the pharmacists now work with doctors nurses and patients to advise on which are the most appropriate antibiotics to take colombia in colombia a team of research scientists partnered with farmers and retailers to create the country's first national surveillance program for antibiotic resistant bacteria in chickens the program is currently being expanded across the country and into other livestock at the end i would like to quote sir alexander fleming the thoughtless person playing with penicillin is morally responsible for the death of the man who finally succumbs to infection with the penicillin resistant organism that's it for this episode guys hope you enjoyed it tune into our channel for more such interesting videos thanks for watching